Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. Today I'm participating of an open challenge hosted by Kathy Joe's DIY and Brenda Rustic and Lacey DIY. And, and today's co-host is Simply Blessed Crafts with Tiffany. Today we must use three items, aluminum foil, funnel, and napkin. And whoever wins this challenge will be the next guest host for the following month. And now let's go ahead and begin with our first project using the funnel and napkin. I'm going to begin by giving two coats to this wood round. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it two coats. Look at this beautiful napkin. I think this napkin is new at the Dollar Tree. Well, at least this is the first time that I see it. So I'm preparing it because I am going to uh, place it in the bottom portion of this wood round that I just painted in white. And off camera, I added the Mod Podge already. I went and I dried it with my heat tool. And then once that is done, now I'm getting ready to place the napkin on half of the wood round. And of course, once it's place the way that I like it then I'm going to be coming in with my little iron and I'm going to go ahead and activate that Mod Podge so I can go ahead and adhere to the wood round. Once the napkin is adhered I'll come in with my scissors and cut most of it off and then the rest I'll just sand it off for a nice clean look. So I was looking for those flexible funnels, but I couldn't find them. So I wind up purchasing these from Dollar Tree, all three for $1.25. And it's that hard, hard plastic cover that once you try cutting it, it just, it just crumbles. You know, it doesn't have a clean cut, as you can tell, because it's that hard plastic. Needed to get this video out, so I decided that I would opt for this little funnel here. And I try using all kinds of tools. I use two, three different kinds of scissors, needle pliers. Oh my goodness, did I struggle with this? Did I struggle? Look at me. But eventually, you know, I took the hardcore scissors. I think these scissors are to cut um, sewing scissors, cloth scissors, if that's. <laughs> <laughs> Today I can't speak. Sorry guys. But yeah, those are the ones that worked out and I was able to cut it in half. And I'll be painting half of the funnel with this Apple Barrel acrylic paint and the color is too blue. And I'll be giving it two to three coats. Once the paint is completely dry, then I'm coming in with plenty of hot glue and I'm going to be gluing it right on top of this wood round. I have this beautiful silver ribbon. I'm gonna be putting it right up here and then in the lower part also of the funnel just to cover that imperfection. I'm taking the same silver ribbon, I cut it into two or in half, and then I am gonna be placing it around this wood round. I also went to Dollar General and I purchased these uh, and they were half off. So I pay 50 cents for each. I purchased several of them. So I'm disassembling them because I'm just going to be using the greenery. And I also added a hook in the back and I use a chew cord with plenty of hot glue. And this will be it for this first project. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts.
And here is our second DIY using aluminum foil. So I decided to use these sheets. I'm rolling it up and then I'm gonna go ahead and twist it. I'm gonna create seven different pieces and they are going to be all different size. So once it's completely rolled up, then I'm gonna roll it up to make it look like a quarter or a half a dollar. So this is the way that I'm rolling it up. And then once it's all rolled up, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of of hot glue to tuck it in so like that it can stay in place and of course I'm gonna be doing this to all seven pieces and here's all the pieces put together and I have this little shallow box I'm gonna go ahead and give it one coat with white chalk paint and I'm gonna be doing that to the entire frame once everything is painted, I came in with my hot tool, dried it, and now it's time to put this all together. I'm gonna shape it in, just like you see here, I already have the design that I want, so I'm creating a flower. Once I tuck it in with plenty of hot glue, I'm gonna do that to all the pieces, of course. I also have this little uh, wall sticker that you see right there in the side, and those are leaves, of course. I'm gonna be cutting them um, here and there and I'm gonna be placing them wherever I believe that it looks beautiful. I think that by far this is, in this video, this is one of my favorite pieces. Isn't this piece beautiful? I'm gonna go ahead and seal everything with some Mod Podge. And this will be it for this beautiful project. I'm telling you, I am totally digging this. I'm gonna be putting this in my new living room and it goes with my decor. I also wanna remind you, don't forget to visit these talented creators for more inspiration. And here is the final review. I hope you have enjoyed this one. For project number three, I'm also gonna be using aluminum foil. I purchased this door. This door is for a cabinet and I paid $1 many years ago. I'm gonna also be using some of these wood dowels. I'm gonna cut several of them. After I cut several of them to size, then I will be wrapping them with aluminum foil. Once all of them are wrapped, I'm just gonna go ahead and come in with some hot glue and start placing them on top of the door. Now that the wood dowels are all in place, I have these wood beads. I'm gonna be putting four, one on each corner, and that's where the mirror is gonna sit at. I'm gonna be adding plenty of hot glue just to make sure that it's nice and secure. So 
So once I placed that mirror, I noticed that there was like a gap. So I went on and I prepared another four uh, pieces of wood dowels and I'm putting them right in each corner, as you can see, making sure that you don't see that gap. Look at how nice. This turned out really nice. And here it is. So now that all four pieces are put together, then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna paint the white section. I'm gonna paint it in silver. Now for the first project, I used this silver ribbon. Look at how pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and place it around the frame right here, just to make it look nice and glamorous. And at the same time, it matches with the first DIY that I prepared. I'm gonna take some of this black chalk paint and this little mirror flower sticker from Dollar Tree I'm gonna give it one coat and that would be it I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right on top of the mirror and this project is completely done I'm hoping that you like it just as much as I do I'm gonna be placing this in my living room and is going to be matching with all my, my other decor For our next project, I have this beautiful birdhouse. I found this at the Dollar Tree. This is the first time also that I see this in my dollar store. I'm gonna give it one light coat, watered down of course, only to the inside of the birdhouse. And the color is Nutmug Brown. You can use whatever color you want. Also gonna be using some aluminum foil for this project. And I'm also wiping it down so like that it could look a little bit lighter. And to put the aluminum foil in place, I'm using some Mod Podge. I'll be placing it right on the roof and on the box of the birdhouse. So I'm just cutting sections little by little, placing it right here, and then cutting it just to make sure that it's nice and tucked in. So now everything is put in place. I also have some Spanish moss. I'm gonna be placing it in the middle and then the little two birds. Also, I have two pretty eggs from a different project. I just took them apart and I'm gonna be using them for this project. And also make sure to check out these creators for additional inspiration. This challenge happens once a month. Kathy and Brenda and the co-host decides on three different items that we have to be challenged on and the best creator with those items will be the next co-host for the following month so don't forget to visit these talented creators and here's the final reveal
And for our fourth and final project, I have this mason jar that I'm gonna be recycling. I have already uh, painted this with white chalk paint and of course it's already dry and now I'm adding some Mod Podge so like that I can add that beautiful napkin that you see here. And I'm only gonna add the Mod Podge on the bottom portion of this mason jar. So after removing that double ply from the napkin, now I'm gonna go ahead and start placing this napkin around the bottom portion of the mason jar. And the Mod Podge is not dry. So I decided to do it this way because I thought this way was easier. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the excess um, napkin off with my scissors and add a little bit more Mod Podge here and there just to make sure that it's nice and tucked in. And of course, once it's done, then I'm gonna come out with my heat tool and I am going to be trying to dry it so like that I can add this ribbon right here just to make everything look nice and even. And this ribbon is so beautiful. It just brings out that little bitty pink that the napkin has. I also have a rose, a foam rose from Dollar Tree and I am going to be placing it right on top of the ribbon. But I also have this light sheer ribbon and it is light pink and that I'm going to be placing right here on the neck of this bottle. And this little mason jar is going to be in my craft room along with my glue gun sticks that's how i'm gonna be utilizing this and look at how gorgeous this looks i hope you have enjoyed this video my dear friends if you have enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe share and like to my video it, it really does help my channel and i will see you in my next video